I take off my specs, sit down and collect my thoughts of another day in the past. How it don't last like it used to last. It's commonplace to get your ass splattered from a gun blast. Not trying to preach, just trying to reach out and feel me. I chose the righteous path and now people are out to kill me. Killing myself, advertising suicide, explaining formulas for black on black genocide. In other words, I apologize. Not for telling the truth, but about the lifestyle I glorified. Not ever lying, I have heard and seen much shit. But through it all, man, I've always been a lyricist From high school to a hole in the wall shooting pool On top of the world, and a nigga still paying dues Singing the blues, cause Saturday morning mom bumped it Love and happiness, Al Green and the trumpets Rolled up in my brain with that hay and hen Using God-given talent, slanging wealth and sin Lost in the clouds, drowning in that 80 proof And all around me, my world is turning to Starships and rockets Hey yo, so about leg day, monster leg day, started out with squats, squad day, gonna do a lot of outer sweep work today, so y'all already know how I feel about women and building that trunk back there. Squat RDL, squat RDL, that's the key, let's go. One of the key things I think most people forget when it comes to squatting, and I think it will make you stronger, is to inhale when you squat down. Exhale as you're going up. I promise you, this will make your squat easier. It will also allow you to squat more weight a lot of people do not breathe including her something i'm trying to teach her breathing is important do not cut off your oxygen supply when you're squatting especially as you get heavier and heavier i know y'all seen the videos of people passing out this is why people pass out because when you're doing when you're exercising your blood wants to flow throughout your body you're rushing blood to that point of whatever it is you're working on you cannot stop breathing breathe people so about 295 is where i started to do close stance if you want a thick thick leg you have to work on your outer sweep to work on your outer sweep you have to have a close stance squat that is the key to giving your leg that thickness And I'm not talking about thickness like how you think of a woman thickness. I'm talking about muscle. You know what I'm saying? That whole 3D quad look. Because most women, you know, a lot of women out here, y'all think y'all thick, but y'all really fat. That's not, there's, there's not a lot of muscle to your legs. It's mostly fat. I can tell the difference. I've taken enough pants off to know when a woman is thick and when a woman is fat. And a lot of y'all, y'all ain't got no muscle up underneath them pants. A lot of fat going on around here. But we gonna take it back. We about to show better bodies this year. Better bodies this year. Better bodies this year. Let's go. Proper form is the key. Do not be so engulfed with other people and how they view you and how much weight you can actually squat that you do not give yourself the proper squat look at that depth and this is close stance you have to sometimes drop the weight stop ego lifting people the weight will come and i'm telling you your body will grow regardless if you're doing the proper squat This is how it's done. There is a art form to this shit. Y'all need to learn that. You cannot just go in the gym and throw around weight. This is an art. Your body is a work of art. Look at that thing. Sheesh. You know, I know a lot of people don't understand bodybuilding or working out, whatever it is you want to call it. But this is an art like to turn your body into a work of art you have to put your mind into the shit like there is no other way around it 
You have to take it seriously. This is why I stay covered up 99% of the time. It's because when I'm covered up, I have to put my mind into my muscles and think about what I'm doing. I have to envision the muscles. That is how you put your mind into your muscle. This is how you grow fast. This is how you turn your body into a work of art. Don't believe me? Try it yourself. You know, you have your days where you're feeling like a superhero. Today is one of those days we just like, I think we was in the gym for like two hours and 15 minutes, literally working out the whole time. Just got lost in space. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just be having so much fun. I just don't want to stop. But my body, I have to exhaust it. It's the only way that I can actually feel like I got a good workout. Exhaust yourself. You should be crawling out the gym. Earn that meal. Let's go. There is no quad day without leg extensions, people. I think we set it at about 90 pounds and just went back and forth, back and forth. She did a little bit of glute accessory work in between. But that 90 pounds just back and forth, back and forth took the life out of me. I was going to do a little squat challenge with her, but it didn't even happen. My quads were done. It was a wrap. But y'all get this workout a try. Let me know what y'all think. And until next time, stay natty, my friends.